Tonight's opening faceoff brought to you by Theodore Robbins Ford. We are underway. The Pens in their road whites, black numbers. The Ducks in their home blacks, white numbers and orange trim. And Jake Gensel, a June 4th knee surgery has kept him out of the first 34 games this season. And he gets a shot on goal that's off the glove of Stolarz to the corner. It's a little wrist shot from Malkin, and we're so used to seeing Malkin with that. And Carter turns on a turnover and one times it home. John Troy Terry got the puck on the wing, and Marcus Patterson came down and pinched from the left point away from Troy Terry. And just like that, Jeff Carter spins and rips it off the inside of the post. And that's the thing about this Pittsburgh team. They're a great transition team, but their defense... Now he loses it up the boards, and here comes Sonny Milano. Rink wide for Terry. Into the Pittsburgh zone. Terry in front. Milano backhander. Saved by Jari. His first save of the game. Point blank. Raquel was stepped into by Latang. That frees the puck up for the Pens. Clearing attempt. Knocked down by Zegras. Floats it towards the net. Never got to Jari. Bounces back to Raquel. And what a save by Jari. Into the middle, and he doesn't connect with Bluger. Now it's a foot race as Shattenkirk back after it. Bumped by Bluger. Leaves it there. Comtois plays it up the boards. Matheson throws it to the net. In front for Dominic Simone. His backhander snuffed out. Pittsburgh is known for. They are a real quick counter team. There's the turnover. But look at that. Two Penguins just hanging around the top of the goal crease. And eventually... Gensel trying to pop it into the middle. Knocked out of midair by Drysdale. He's pinned to the corner boards by Evan Rodriguez. Pens get it back. Matheson fans does get the second pass across. And a sharp angle shot fired right on net. Rebound back to Stolarz. And this is a great stop by Stolarz. Sharp angle shot. Crosby knocks it right out of midair. Gets a couple of cracks at it. And then Gensel is fishing for the puck between the pads of the Anaheim goaltender before Getzlaff knocks him out of harm's way. But... You know, even in slow motion, you get a sense of the hands of Sidney Crosby and just how quick they are. Big hit on Bjorkvist in the corner, and the Ducks regain possession. Robinson in front off his skate. Backhander from Delorier, and Jari covers up. Remember we talked about getting the pucks in behind the Penguins' defense? Here's a perfect example of it. And Delorier didn't waste any time. That was a good read by the goaltender, Jari. He anticipated the release point on the backhand. And got well in front of the goal crease to make a good stop. Things break up rather peaceably, despite what the replays might tell you. Malkin pressured there. Silverberg doesn't give up. And Ruedel pulls it out of the fray and stretches it. Behind the Anaheim defense club down. Kapanen is in. Save Stolarz! Kapanen gets it back, and Matheson didn't get all of it. He did. Controlling this puck. Long pass from Ruedel. And look at the way he just controls it right at the offensive blue line and moves in. And that was an impressive play by Kasperi Kapanen. Great stop by Anthony Stolarz, who stayed right with him. It comes with just a shade under 20 seconds left in the period. So gets off with a faceoff win. Quickly from the point. Fowler finds him in the slot. His shot deflected off of Milano and just wide in a collision between he and Jari. Kind of a strange decision to blow this whistle. There's the shot coming in. Milano falls on top of the goaltender, but I'm really unsure why they called. Nice entry. And now Ricard Raquel leaves for Fowler. Across to Sonny Milano. Milano, great pass. Better save by Jari on the redirect. For Ricard Raquel, and now the Ducks are set up, and what a stop by Jari. Ricard Raquel, he elevated the puck. About a foot and a half. Malkin gives it right back. Latang looks. Back for Malkin. He'll wind and fire. He scores! Evgeny Malkin on the power play in his first game back this season. That had a little heat on it. Yeah, that is a weapon on this Pittsburgh power play. Malkin can absolutely hammer it. Anthony Stolarz. And look who's setting the screen in front. Sidney Crosby. Crosby jumps. I don't know how that puck doesn't hit Sidney Crosby. And Anthony Stolarz can't see the release. Look at the traffic in front. This is a great angle, guys. Yeah, Crosby's right in the eyes of the goaltender Stolarz. And control at center. Latang flips it back in. 
Stretch pass trickles its way to Raquel at the blue line, and his backhander steered aside by Jari. Yeah, he had to wait on it. Very last second, Dumoulin's able to impact the bid by Ricard Raquel. In this game tonight, they have really been aggressive joining the rush. And just eight goals from the Pittsburgh blue line. As this one comes through, Jari had to go to his right, and Silverberg converts! Jacob Silverberg had gone 30 games without a goal. It's 2-1. to one. Simple play. They kind of slowed things down. Silverberg and Milano collide below the goal line. They both jump back up onto their feet, and then Getzloff just throws it to Manson. Milano crashing the net. Creates a little bit of chaos in front. And that rebound comes free to Jacob Silverberg. The goaltender's down. He elevates it over top. Penguins regain the zone. Latang across the top. Across to Malkin. He has the power play goal. Got it to Crosby. Nice save moving to the left as Stolarz just got to the post in time. Way in order to get across. Malkin puts it right in the wheelhouse. Crosby rips it. Tries to clear the zone but can't, so Latang keeps. Here's Malkin, one-timer save by Stolarz. It's Latang, and this time to Malkin for the one-timer. And that one, Stolarz takes off the left shoulder. And he got tangled up with Robinson, lost possession. Back comes Kapanen, his pass across, redirected and paddled away by Stolarz. Penalty is over. Saved at the line by... Zahorna fresh off the bench and Marino shot deflected in That was a shot pass all the way and Malkin has his second of the night yeah, I don't think he's going to disrupt the Penguins all that much his return <laughs> to the lineup because man oh man he is having a night Malkin boy a lot of movement he makes that stick available Benoit does a pretty good job of staying with him, but he's just so big and strong. Can't lift that stick off the ice, and he gets rewarded. What a nice play that was by Marino. Really smart shot pass by him. Stolarz gets a little piece, but not quite enough. Zegris wide on the right side as Shattenkirk joins the rush. Spin move. Still has it. He spins again out of the corner. Throws it across. Oh, and a good shot gotten away by Shattenkirk. Kevin Shattenkirk. Well, how do you get a little bit of separation? Well, a fancy move like that by Zegris. You can see he loses Dumoulin, and now he's got time to make a pass. And it's a great pass. Cross ice, threads the needle. Shattenkirk does everything right. One times it. Looks like Gensel may have got a little tough. You know, it's the third game in four nights. It's the fourth game in six nights for Anaheim with the makeup game Sunday against the Red Wings. Dallas Aikens talked about it. Here's Gensel. Point blank save made by Stolarz. Ricard Raquel tied up as he got there. Help from Terry who pins it along the end boards. Back around it comes to Kapanen who banks it ahead. And there's Malkin. He won't go for the hat trick. Instead he gives it to Carter who will get his second of the game. And it's 4-1 Pittsburgh. Well, so that line accounts for all of the goals for the Penguins in this game. Carter, Mulkin, and Kapanen. A dynamic night for that trio. The Pittsburgh lineup. A great pass across. And Jeff Carter. Shattenkirk keeps it in behind the net. Delorier trying to spin in front. And it's played away by Matheson, bringing an end to this one. As the Penguins come into Honda Center, they never trail. They get Evgeny Malkin back. He pots a pair.